Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to use ChatGPT to generate a code for exception handling in a Spring Boot application. Well, whenever you work on Java Spring Boot application and if you have a requirement to implement the exception handling in your Spring Boot application, then you can go ahead and use ChatGPT to quickly generate the code and use that code in your Spring Boot project. Alright, so just use ChatGPT to generate the code and customize the code and use it in your project so that you can save your time and boost your productivity. Okay, so here I have created this prompt. This prompt follows the best practices and you can use this prompt to ask ChatGPT to generate the code for exception handling in your Spring Boot project. So let us quickly go through the prompt and then later we will see how we can use this prompt in ChatGPT to generate the code. Act as a senior Java developer. Well, here we are assigning a role to the ChatGPT so that ChatGPT can act as a senior Java developer and generate the code for exception handling as per our requirement. I want to implement centralized exception handling in existing Spring Boot application that uses Java, Spring Web and Spring Boot starter validation. And again, notice here I have given Spring Boot version 3.5, but you can use any Spring Boot version that you want. For example, you can use Spring Boot version 3, Spring Boot version 3.5, Spring Boot version 4 and here Java version 21 but you can use any Java version that you want. Next implement a complete global exception handling strategy using the following requirements. Our requirements like create the custom exceptions, create a base exception, app exception. So this is optional. Some developers prefer creating the app exception for handling ex you know, application level exceptions and some developers keep you know base exception. But it is good idea to create an app exception as a base exception and then create a resource not found custom exception that extends runtime exception so whenever there is a no entity exists in the database then we can throw this resource not found exception next bad request exception if the request has uh, invalid inputs then we can throw this bad request exception and then use custom constructors for messages and fields next Create a global exception handler that is annotated with REST controller advice annotation and create a POJO that is error response class. So this is basically a DTO class that we can use to prefer the error response and send that error response back to the client. And this error response basically includes timestamp, status, error, message, path. So this is the standard format we typically use for the error response. But if you have a requirement to add any extra information to the error response, you can go ahead and add to this error response class. Next, implement add exception handler methods for all these scenarios. Like implement this exception handler for resource not found exception, bad request exception, method argument not valid exception, HTTP message not readable exception, access denied exception if you are using Spring Security, and then catch all fallback exception. So this is basically for handling generic exception. Next, return the structured response with these information like timestamp, status, error, message, path. Next, for validation errors, in exception handler that handles method argument not valid exception, collect field errors using binding result class and then return a map or list of field specific error messages. So we are telling ChatGPT to generate the code for this validation errors as well. Next, usage example. Well, we can also mention the example in the prompt so that ChatGPT can refer that example and generate the code accordingly. We are telling ChatGPT like if user sends a request with this URL and if employee for this given ID is not exist, then throw the resource not found exception and the API should return 404 with proper JSON error response and the JSON error response should looks like this. The JSON should contain timestamp, status, error, message, path. So this is the requirement. We want ChatGPT to generate the code for exception handling such a way that the API should return the JSON error response in this format. Okay. So notice here we have mentioned the example in the prompt so that ChatGPT can refer this example and accordingly generate the code. And one more point here is there is a no placeholders in this prompt because this prompt is a generic and it generates the code that we can use in any Spring Boot you know REST API application. Okay, now let us go ahead and execute this prompt in the chat GPT and let us see 
how chat gpt generates the code so here let me copy this prompt and let me go to the free version of chat gpt first and then click on new chat and in a chat just paste this prompt remove this and then click on submit next let us wait for the response of the chat gpt you can see the steps over here so pre version of chat gpt is awesome it generates the code as per our requirement and the code basically follows the industry standard best practices as well you can see the response over here it created the custom exceptions and then it created a global exception handler that annotated with this rest control advice annotation okay now look at the code over here custom exceptions app exception so this is the base exception and it can use it for application level exceptions and this is the resource not found custom exception that we can throw when there is a no resource exist in the database and then bad request exception this exception we can throw when there is a bad request from the client next error response pojo this class contains the fields that we have mentioned in the prompt like timestamp status error message path you can see error response class so this is basically a dto class that we can use to transfer the data between client and server and then global exception handler class which is annotated with rest controller advice annotation next this is the method that handles a resource not found exception and prefers the error response and send that error response back to the client so whenever spring boot application throws resource not found exception then this method will basically catch that exception prefer the error response and send that error response back to the client similarly this method handles bad request exception prefer the error response and send that error response back to the client similarly this method handles method argument not valid exception and prefer the error response and send that error response back to the client and then this is the method that handles http message not readable exception prefer the error response send that error response back to the client next this method handles access denied exception so this is basically a spring security related exception if you are using spring security in your spring boot application then make sure that you write this logic to handle access denied exception if you are not using spring security then make sure to remove this code otherwise you will get compile time error next this ex this method basically handles the generic exception you can see here exception so basically exception is a base class for all the exceptions isn't it if our spring boot application throws the exception that is not listed over here then this method will handle that exception okay next usage example throwing resource not found exception well chat gpt is smart it also gives you the usage code like how the you know exception can be thrown in the code so you can see here if the employee with a given id is not exist in the database then this will throw the resource not found exception and this exception will be handled in the global exception handler class so this example is for employee entity but you can use any entity that you want the exception related code is same for all the spring boot rest api applications okay next scroll down and here you can see example json response so this is the json error response that we have mentioned in the prompt and as per our requirement chat gpt has generated the code and if there is any validation errors then our api you know return the error response in this format this looks good so as per our requirement chat gpt has generated the code and then you can read the notes and recommendations as well and you can follow accordingly this is awesome isn't it we don't have to write this much of code manually it will take a lot of time so instead of that we can take the help from chat gpt you can get the code and you can use that code in the project so that we can save our time and we can speed up our work now let me show you how we can execute this prompt in the paid version of chat gpt as well so let me copy this prompt uh, let me go to the paid version of chat gpt and go to the new chat and then paste this prompt in the chat submit the prompt now let us go through the response as i mentioned earlier the paid version of chat gpt gives you a lot of information about the response that's why you can see step by step plan this is not there in the pre version of chat gpt so just follow these steps first create a custom exception and then 
just copy paste this code and then error payload pojo the code is almost same in both the versions there is slight difference like the paid version of chat gpt gives you some more suggestions and more information next here is a global exception handler it handles all the custom exceptions and generic exceptions next scroll down and here you can see the usage example so you can use this example to test the exception handling code or you can directly use this exception handling code in your project next scroll down and here you can see the validation error response all right so this is how we can use this single prompt that follows the best practices and we can use this prompt to ask chat gpt to generate the code for exception handling in our spring boot application all right great i will see you in the next lecture